I've been working here, this will be my fifth year. I started actually in the elementary. What is so special about EA? Eastern Hancock is an amazing place. Uh, what's so special about it, I would say, would be the teachers and the staff, as well as the students. I think everybody kind of helps with us being so. What is your favorite thing about EA? Uh, my favorite thing about Eastern Hancock would be that I get to socialize with the students and interact with them on a daily basis. They make me laugh, they make my ears hurt sometimes, but it's all worth it. Um, for me, um, actually, I am not a teacher. I am amazed, I'm amazed at what they do, um, and I have a big respect for them because um, they are with the students each and every day. Um, I chose to come here because I enjoy coaching, and so for me, it allowed me to coach uh, and interact with kids from a different perspective from teaching, but as a coach. So um, that was kind of fulfilling one of my lifelong dreams. So. The students at Eastern Hancock are awesome. I love each and every one of them. Um, everyone is different, and that's what makes it me here at Eastern. Um, I feel like um, at any given time, someone's got your back. So, and that's not always how it is at other students. If new people were having to decide between our school and a different one, what would you say to the students? Hello, come here. It's an awesome school. Um, the staff is very caring. Um, I know we've had so many instances over the past couple of years that uh, have proven that, and um, I hope that, that, that the kids know how much they love the staff, and um, that we want you guys to succeed and to be uh, basically fulfill the dreams that you have for yourselves, and that we hope to be a part of that. How long have you been working at Eastern Hancock? Uh, this is my 19th year here at Eastern Hancock. Um, what is so special about EH? Well, I think uh, Eastern Hancock uh, is a great community. Uh, it's kind of a community that ties the whole, uh, several different towns together. Um, it's, a, it's a small school, but yet they're, they're, you know, it's, it's not so small that there's not a, a good number of people here. Lots of good things, or a lot of things that are special about you. Uh, why did you decide to come here when you could have chosen any other school in the well, and I, at the time, I was working at Warren Central High School. I was teaching and coaching there, and uh, I wanted to be a uh, head basketball coach. Uh, so uh, the job opened up here. My uh, my mom is from this area. She graduated from Charlottesville in 1965. So I, I was familiar with the area, and the job opened up, and uh, uh, they hired me. So that's why I came. Um, what do you think of the students at EH? Uh, students are great. You know, I love uh, you know young people. I you know wherever I've been. Well, I've been at uh, three different schools, but I uh, really enjoy young people, uh, teenagers, uh, their enthusiasm. Um, and EH has got a lot of great kids. If new people would have to decide between our school and a different school, what would you say to them to help choose EH? Well, I think uh, EH uh, number one is great academically. Uh, recently then uh, school letter grades all three of our schools elementary uh, middle school and high school all received A's um, so you're going to get a top-notch uh, academic education we also think uh, we have great extracurricular activities I feel like we have a, a great athletic program great FFA program drama band I feel like all our extracurriculars are, are very very good educational opportunities as well, so just get a, a well-rounded education. How long have you been at Eastern Hancock? This is my third year as school counselor at Eastern Hancock. What is your favorite thing about Eastern Hancock? I love selfie shopping here. Um, my favorite thing overall is that we're a family. It's not just a job. I love the people I work with. I love the students. I love the community. It's just one big family, and you don't get that a lot in other school districts. Why did you choose our school over other schools? I wanted to work in a rural environment, and it was kind of a fluke, actually. I was driving past one day to the place I got married, and I was like, hey, that's Eastern Hancock. I should apply to work there. And I went online, and they had a high school counselor position posted. Even though I didn't want to be a high school counselor, I applied anyway because I heard good things about school. And then I went and interviewed with Mr. Hoff, and he's like, is it a deal breaker if it's a middle school job? And I was like, no, it's perfect. And so I was super pumped and I just felt like it was meant to be. Why did you want to become a counselor? So I was 
working at the state house um, for the Mitch Daniels administration when he was governor. And I loved education policy. I loved education laws. I loved learning about education. I never kind of, I never thought about being in education when I was an undergrad. And then loved the law so much, I was like, well, I want to work on education laws, but I feel like no one will trust me unless I've worked actually in education. And I've been in the thick of it. And so I went back to school and got my master's in education for school counseling. And then that's how I ended up here. That's why I want to be a counselor. Because I loved education law and then I loved psychology. And I love working with kids. So put it all together. Did you go to college knowing you were going to become a counselor? No. I had no idea. I changed my major so many times. So I applied for, I applied to go to Butler originally for chemistry to be a dentist. I decided it was too expensive. So I was like, mm, maybe I'll go to IU instead. So I applied to IU. Got an IU. Went to IU as a biology major. Going to be a dentist. Hated it, absolutely hated it. So then I was like, well, maybe I'll be a dental hygienist. Maybe I just don't want to be a dentist. Hated that. So then I was like, oh, I love psychology. This is great. I'll be a psych major. But I also love political science. So I got a minor in political science and a minor in family studies. And then I went and I worked as a lobbyist for a while for the government. And I worked for the state senate in Indiana and the Mitch Daniels administration. And I was like, maybe I want to go to law school. Maybe I'll be a lawyer. Because I like law so much. Well, I took the LSAT and I was like, hmm change my mind again I don't want to do that so it was really like a huge hump to go over every time like I never I had no intentions of being in education but I'm so glad I did I feel like I'm at home now you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I um, yeah if you would ask me 10 years ago when I graduated from high school I'm like no way I'll be a school counselor no way because I did not like my school counselor when I was in high school she did not help at all so I was like no way never thought I was doing that but I love it